Your social life is secretly burning you out. Here's how to fix it. Hey there, welcome back. Today we're diving into something that could be a game changer for you, social resilience. Now I know what you're thinking, another buzzword, but stick with me because this could be the key to dodging that dreaded burnout we're all trying to avoid. Picture this, you're juggling a demanding job, trying to hit the gym, maybe you've got family responsibilities, and oh yeah, a social life. What's that, right? We've all been there, feeling like we're one minor inconvenience away from a total meltdown. But what if I told you there's a way to not just survive, but thrive in your social life without burning out? In the next few minutes, I'm gonna break down five essential elements of social resilience that can transform how you handle relationships and social pressures. Master these and you'll be bulletproof against social burnout. Miss them and, well, let's just say you might find yourself binge watching Netflix alone this weekend, wondering where it all went wrong. And the last tip is by far the most important. You don't want to miss it. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into our first key element of social resilience. First up, we've got communication, the bedrock of any solid relationship and your first line of defense against burnout, whether it's with your boss, your buddies, or that cute barrister you've been working up the courage to talk to. Here's a scenario. You're swamped at work, your boss keeps piling in more projects, and your friends are blowing up your phone about weekend plans. Sound familiar? This is where most people start to crack. But here's the secret. It's all about clear, honest communication. Instead of ghosting your friends or snapping at your boss, try this. With your boss, say, I'm excited about these projects, but I want to ensure I deliver quality work. Can we prioritize these tasks? With your friends, say, work's been intense lately. I need a low-key hangout this weekend. How about we catch the game at my place? By communicating clearly, you're not just avoiding misunderstandings, you're actively building stronger connections. You're showing people you value them enough to be honest and trust them. That goes a long way in building resilience. Remember, it's not about having all the right words, it's about having the courage to express what you need. That's the first step in building a social life that energizes you instead of draining you. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I get it, communication is key, but what about when I just don't get where someone else is coming from? Well, my friend, that's where our next elements come into play. Effective communication is just the start. To truly build resilience, we need to pair it with two beautiful allies, empathy and respect. Let's talk about empathy and respect, your secret weapons in the battle against social burnout. These aren't just fancy words. They're your toolkit for navigating tricky social situations without losing your cool. Picture this, you're at a work event and that one colleague who always rubs you the wrong way is at it again, bragging about their latest achievement. Your gut reaction? Eye roll and walk away. This is where empathy becomes your secret weapon. Try this instead. Take a moment to consider what might be driving their behavior. Maybe they're insecure, or perhaps they're under pressure you don't know about. This doesn't mean you have to love their attitude, but understanding it can help you respond in a way that doesn't drain your energy. Respect comes into play in how you handle the situation. Instead of dismissing them, you might say, that's impressive. What was the most challenging part of achieving that? This approach does two things. It shows respect, which often gets reciprocated, and it turns a potentially frustrating interaction into a more positive one. By practicing empathy and respect, you're not just making social interactions smoother, you're building a reputation as someone who's easy to work with and talk to. This means less drama, less stress, and more genuine connections. And guess what? That's a surefire way to avoid social burnout. Now that you're communicating with empathy, it's time to turn these skills into lasting relationships. Our next point is all about building your social fortress, the relationships that'll have your back when the going gets tough. Let's talk about building and maintaining relationships, your personal fortress against the storms of life. This isn't about having a million Instagram friends or being the life of every party. It's about cultivating a core group of solid connections that have your back when things get rough. Here's a scenario many of us know all too well. You've been grinding at work, climbing that career ladder, and suddenly you realize it's been months since you've had a real conversation with anyone outside of Slack or an email. Sound familiar? This is where burnout starts to creep in. So how do you build that social fortress? It's simpler than you might think. Consistency is key. Set regular meetups with friends or family. It could be a weekly game night, a monthly hike, or even just a quick coffee. The point is to make it regular. Be present. When you're with someone, really be there. Put the phone away, make eye contact, and ask questions. Show them they matter. 
Offer support. Be there for others when they need it. It's not always about grand gestures. Sometimes a simple, how are you holding up text can make all the difference. Accept support. This one's tough for a lot of us, but it's crucial. When someone offers help, take it. It strengthens the bond and shows trust. By investing in these relationships, you're not just avoiding burnout. You're creating a support system that can help you bounce back from any setback. Think of it as your personal cheat code for life's challenges. Building strong relationships is crucial, but it can backfire if you're always available. That's a fast track to burnout. To prevent this, let's tackle something that trips up a lot of people, setting boundaries. This isn't about building walls. It's about creating a force field that protects your energy and time while still allowing meaningful connections. Picture this, you're the go-to guy at work for solving problems. Your friends always count on you for advice and your family expects you at every gathering. Sounds like you're killing it, right? Wrong. This is the fast track to burnout city. Here's how to set boundaries without being a jerk. Learn to say no. It's not about rejecting people. It's about projecting your yes. Try this. I appreciate you thinking of me, but I can't commit to that right now. How about we plan something for next month? Communicate your limits. Let people know when you're available and when you're not. It could be as simple as, I don't check work mails after 7 p.m. unless it's an emergency. Respect your own time. If you set aside time for the gym or a hobby, treat it as seriously as you would a work meeting. It's not selfish, it's self-care. Be consistent. Once you set a boundary, stick to it. People will learn to respect your limits if you respect them yourself. Remember, setting boundaries isn't about pushing people away, it's about creating the space you need to be your best self in your relationships. When you're not stretched thin, you have more to give the connections that truly matter. Now that you've established your personal boundaries, it's time to extend your resilience beyond your immediate circle. Our final element might just be the missing piece in your social resilience matrix. It's all about feeling connected to something bigger through community engagement. Let's wrap this up with something that might not be on your radar, but is crucial for avoiding burnout. Now, before you think this is about forced phone at company picnics, hear me out. Engaging with your community is about finding your tribe and contributing to something bigger than yourself. It's your secret weapon against feeling isolated or stuck in a rut. Here's the deal. When work stress piles up or personal relationships hit a rough patch, having a connection to a wider community can be your lifeline. It gives you perspective and a sense of purpose that can pull you out of a funk. So how do you do this without it feeling like another chore on your to-do list? Follow your interests. Love sports? Join a local rec league. Into tech? Check out hackathons or meetups. The key is to find something you generally enjoy. Start small. You don't have to save the world. Maybe it's just helping out a local food bank once a month or joining a neighborhood cleanup day. Use your skills. Good at web design? Offer to help a local nonprofit. Handy with tools? There's probably a community project that could use your skills. Be consistent. Like any relationship, community engagement works best when it's regular. Find something you could commit to long term, even if it's just a few hours a month. Community engagement is the final piece in your burnout-proof social resilience strategy. It not only takes the pressure off your immediate social circle, but also provides a sense of purpose that's kryptonite to burnout. It broadens your network, gives you a sense of accomplishment, and can even open up new opportunities. All right, let's bring it home. We've covered the five essential elements of social resilience, communication, empathy and respect, building relationships, setting boundaries, and community engagement. Each plays a crucial role in not just enriching your social life, but in creating a robust defense against burnout. Remember, burnout often creeps in when we feel isolated, overwhelmed, or disconnected. That's where social resilience becomes your superpower. Clear communication expresses your needs before you hit the breaking point. Empathy and respect create a supportive environment where you feel valued. Strong relationships provide a safety net when you're stretched thin. Boundaries protect your energy, preventing burnout before it starts. Community engagement gives you purpose beyond immediate stressors, offering perspective and renewal. Here's your burnout busting mission, and it starts now. This week, level up one element of your social resilience. Set a clear boundary at work, rekindle an old friendship, or dive into community service. Take that first step today. Remember, you're not just improving your social life, you're forging your personal anti-burnout shield. Now, share your journey in the comments below. What's your biggest hurdle with communication, empathy, relationships, boundaries, or community engagement? Your story could be the spark that ignites someone else's resilience revolution. And here's the best part. You've just unlocked the first level of burnout defense. But 
the journey's only beginning. Social resilience is just one piece of the puzzle. Click the video on your screen now to discover how building resilience in other areas of your life creates an unbreakable defense against burnout. Trust me, what you'll learn next will revolutionize how you approach work, life, and everything in between. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.